Normally, our channel is about adventure and hiking and travel. And because of the current health situation, we have been stuck at home. We are hoping to get back out there and one of the upcoming trips we have planned will require us to use our own water in our water tanks. In the year and a half that we've been traveling, we have never used our fresh water tank. And so it's time for us to get that sanitized, prepared and ready to go. The problem is we've never done it before. So we have pulled up the Keystone owner's manual. We have done some research online and the challenge we have encountered is that so many of these uh, instructions seem to skip a lot of steps and we've been left with many questions. We think we know the answers. We're going to kind of stumble our way through for the very first time and hopefully this will be a help to you if you've never done it before. We're anxious to get your feedback in the comments, so please get down there and help us and help others sanitize their freshwater tank. Step number one is to drain your freshwater tank, and our drain is underneath our rig at the very, very back. And so we will turn this to drain it, and nothing is coming out because we've never had any water inside this tank. And then once it's finished draining, we're gonna close it back up again. Step two is going to be to prepare our bleach solution and you can just use standard household bleach and the ratio is a quarter cup of bleach and a gallon of water for every 15 gallons of capacity you have in your tank. Our RV has a 64 gallon fresh water tank and so we're going to need to repeat this process about four times. Now we're doing this with standard bleach. They do have concentrated bleach and if you're using the concentrated version, make sure you adjust your ratios. The next step is to locate your tank vent. I went ahead and put some gloves on since I'll be dealing with bleach just to keep it off my skin and hopefully off my clothes. But we've located the tank vent. Um, the owner's manual does say, does say to uh, put the bleach solution in through your tank vent. A few other online sources said that you could either put it through the funnel into the uh, intake uh, normal city water input but we're gonna follow the owner's manual instructions and we're gonna put it in through the tank vent. So we're gonna pop this off. And then inside here is a little wire uh, screen. We're gonna take that off and now we should have access directly into uh, our freshwater tank. Um, I have a length of hose here and I have a funnel. This connection is frankly terrible, so I'm gonna to have to, I'm, I know I'm gonna lose a little bit of solution here. I'm gonna do my best with holding it on tight. This end, I'm gonna stick down into the tank just to keep that secure. I now have my bucket that has my solution. That was the quarter cup bleach to a gallon of water. I'm gonna pour it in slowly. Again, I'm losing a little, and I'm uh, just trying to make sure I don't get it all over myself. But we're gonna get that flowing down into the tank and then we're gonna repeat this three other times because we need a little bit more than the, the four gallons total. Well, this has actually been a complete failure. I have a length of hose. The hose is into my vent tube opening, which is what the owner's manual says to do. I have put my funnel on the end of the hose. I've gently poured in my bleach mixture and it just drains right out of this uh, opening. It's just not accepting the fluid. I'm not sure um, what's causing the water to backfill, but I am not getting this mixture into my fresh tank. So here's my solution. This might be great, this might not, but what I'm gonna do is take my water hose at the front of the rig. I'm gonna make sure the hose is empty I'm gonna pour my cup of bleach, it's about a cup is what my ratio would be for the size of tank I have. I'm gonna pour the bleach into the hose so that the bleach is trapped in the middle of the hose. One end will get connected to my city water connection on my rig, the other end will be connected to my water source spigot. I will then make sure that it's on fill mode which will push that water uh, to my holding tank. I'll turn on the spigot that will start pushing the bleach down into the tank and it'll just dilute it automatically until it overfills the tank and then we'll let it sit from there. Uh, once I have that, that mixture all in there, I'll be able to pull it using my um, the water pump through each of the faucets in the rig. That's the only way I can figure out how to get this silly mixture into that tank. So here we go, plan B. So after the back vent input didn't work, 
we're moving to plan B. This is a water safe hose. It's completely empty right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pour about a cup of bleach. We have a 64 gallon tank on this rig and if we're using the quarter cup of bleach for every 15 gallons of water, that means that we need about a cup of bleach. So I'm gonna get a cup of bleach, add a little bit of water to it. I'm gonna pour it into the hose and kind of trap it down in the middle of the U. Then I'm gonna connect one end to the rig, one end to my water source, turn on the water source, turn this on fill, and let the water push the bleach into the fresh tank. So here we go. So we can hear the water going into the rig. At this point, all the bleach has been pushed in. We do have this tank fill position down, which is on the fill. If this were pointed over to the side, it would be on the normal flow. Right now we have it down, so it is filling the fresh water tank. So now we're just going to wait for that tank to fill and we'll know it's full when the water starts squirting out the back vent. Okay, we're overflowing. It's time to turn off the water and we'll go from there. Okay, now that the uh, back overflowed, I've taken the, what we'll call the bleach hose off, and I have turned my tank fill back from the fill setting over to the normal flow. And now I'm ready to go inside, turn on my water pump, and turn on one spigot at a time, let the water flow. It'll be pulling from the fresh tank that has the bleach solution in it. And I'll do that until I can smell that chlorine odor. Then I'll repeat that at each faucet uh, and then we wait for at least four hours. Okay, we're in the rig. I turned on the water pump. I heard it run for three or four seconds as it kind of pressurized the system. And now with any luck, if we turn this on, this should run. I just heard the water pump kick on and I'm waiting to smell that chlorine smell. This still smells fresh right now because of the fresh water that was previously in the line. Okay, that little <laughs> splash is a good sign getting the air out. So we're probably gonna be getting close to getting that smell here pretty soon. And I do smell, I smell that chlorine smell. I'm gonna to go to the hot side as well just to make sure that any of that hot, uh, the, the hot water lines are also purged. I do have my hot water tank bypass on, but this at least is pulling that water through the lines outside of the tank. And I can smell that little bit of bleach smell. So this faucet is good. I now just need to repeat that with each of the water sources in the rig. Okay, all of the bleach solution has been in the holding tank for at least four hours, which was the recommended time in the owner's manual. It certainly would be fine to leave it in there longer, but because we're starting to lose daylight, we're going to proceed. We will drain the tank dry. After that time, we will fill it back up with fresh, clean water. We will run that through the inside uh, faucets until it runs clean, clear, and, and clean smelling. And then we'll drain it one final time and be ready to go. Here we go. Time to wait for it to all drain out. Once the holding tank had been completely refilled with clean, fresh water, we have come into the rig and we've run each faucet until the smell is clean and clear. So any of the bleach uh, solution has already been run through. It's been replaced with clean water in the lines and everything is smelling uh, like we have fresh water. Um, now we'll repeat in any of the other faucets in the rig. Then we will drain the holding tank one final time because we just plan to store it dry. But that way everything has been sterilized, cleaned, and we are good to go for another year. Uh, this has definitely been a learning experience. Um, because we learned what not to do, at least for our rig, trying to fill it through the back vent just was not effective and we had to put the bleach directly into a hose and push it into the rig that way and that's how we'll do it next time. Um, for our rig, we have a 64 gallon tank. It took us about 40 minutes to drain a full tank completely and it takes us about 12 minutes to fill it all the way back up. Uh, that's that's what how it works for us and that way we'll know that for the future lots to learn when you have an RV and it's time for you to get out and learn too because today is an adventure day <laughs>